Okay. Hi. Okay. Hang on. Hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. Um, sit tight as you jump on. I'm sharing this on another page. Yes, I'm on on my personal page. Hi. And welcome. Welcome. If you're just jumping on, you haven't missed a thing. Hello. Hi, whoever's watching. Um, all right, we're going to start here in just a moment. I'm sharing this to another page and then we'll get started. All right, so what's up, you guys? It's Monday. It's Monday. And um, so I don't think I've ever gone live on my personal page. I'm going to try and look at the camera over here, not the screen. Um, I don't think I've ever gone live on my personal page. Uh, so today is the first. So welcome to my living room. And um, I wanted to talk about something really, really important to me. Say hi as you're jumping on. Hi, whoever's watching. Let me know you're here. Um, I want to make sure I can see comments. So somebody type something. And let me make sure I can see your comments. Um, if you have questions, you are welcome to type them in. And um, let me make sure this shared to the right place. This takes about five minutes, I think, to um, actually like let people know. So I'm going to wait just a minute before I start. And then we'll jump in because I have something really exciting to share with you guys. Um, so if you are a creative person, if you are a parent of a creative child, if you are, hello Debbie, um, if you are, sorry, I'm making sure this is showing up on the page that I want it to. Let's see, let's see. Um, I don't think any kids are watching this, but if parents are, or if kids end up watching this, great. So, um, I wanted to share something I'm doing. Um, and you guys might want to share this, um, and you'll find out later or you'll find out in a minute why, but, but here's what I'm doing and here's why it's important. Um, I felt inspired to share this here versus on my business page because I feel like this affects more people than just people that are interested in what I do for business. Um, so as some of you know, I'm a designer and, um, I run my own business. I work with, um, entrepreneurs and I get to do amazing stuff for them. I get to do amazing creative stuff for them. And, um, I, I love it. I'm so privileged to have found a way to use my creative gifts and talents, um, on my own time and in my own way and build my own life. And it's, it's, um, it's absolutely amazing. Um, what you don't know is the piece of this that I'm really passionate about. And that's what I wanted to share today. It really has nothing to do with business, but, um, I, I get to do what I love to do because I fought for it. Um, Angel, what's up, girl? Um, I, I, I fought for this. Like, there, were, there was no books on how to do this. Um, there, there's no how-to. And, in fact, it's highly suggested that if you actually have a how-to, if you have some kind of guide as to how to start your own business, um, you should throw it away immediately because you're doing it wrong. Okay? So, um, and that's just, that's a thing about starting a business. But, but I was lucky to be guided and um, inspired and put in the right place at the right time with a lot of things coming together at one time. Um, and, and I've, I've invested heavily in myself over a few years now to, to get to where I am. Um, and so this didn't just like happen on accident. It wasn't just like, Oh, let me work from home and, and do the thing that I'm great at and do the thing that's amazing for me. Um, I went through, I mean, I'm 35. Like I went through years of doing what everybody else did and what you're supposed to do. And, um, it, it didn't end up well. And I know that there's a majority of people out there that don't like their jobs and we're sending our children down the same road. Um, and so, so what I, what I want to put together and what I am putting together and what I want to share with you guys as I fumble through this, cause it, it really just came to me this afternoon is, is, um, how do I say this? Uh, what I want now is even though I've been fighting for myself to have the life that I love and doing the things that I'm, I am naturally skilled at. Um, now I want to fight for the next generation. So 
the kids that, that don't do well in school because their talents are elsewhere. Um, the people that, that don't fit in the box of society because everything they're good at does not fit into a job description. Um, people that are, that are, you know, they've, they've sold out to, to corporate because they had to survive and now they're miserable and they're depressed and there's this epidemic of people that don't like what they do. Um, and it sucks and I think it's sad and I was one of them. And so I, I know where you are, um, if that's you and I know, uh, the challenge of, of changing that. And I also know what it's like to see your kids that are creative or probably creative because you and your husband are creative or whatever. Um, and, and you know, the road that they're about to walk and you want something different for them. Right. Um, so, so like I said, right now there's this epidemic of people that they, they hate their jobs. Um, they're probably depressed because they think that they have to do a certain kind of work and their, their natural gifts don't support them. What am I, what do I mean when I say natural gifts, whatever it is that you like did as a kid without even thinking about it. Like maybe you were, um, you played music or you were into art like I was, or you, um, like to dance or you, I don't know. I mean, even sports, you like to take pictures. You like to do, I mean, anything creative theater, right? Writing all of that stuff, all of that stuff matters, um, to, to us and society doesn't pay attention right? They, they kind of shove it under the rug. It's not as important as math and science. Um, we've got to like do the school thing. And if you're not good at school, well, you're screwed, right? That was kind of the message I got. So it was like, you, you've got to do well in school or, or what? Like that was, that was like the option. There are no options. <laughs> you go to school, you go to college, you get a job and then you die or something. Right. Um, and that's, it's not conducive to humans. Like it's just not, it's not conducive to anybody. Uh, Angel says, heard someone say if people were work happy, there would be more large scale peace in the world. Yeah, there would. And there's not because people, I mean, give anybody like a million dollar lottery ticket and like they would, they would quit their job yesterday. Okay. Like that, that's a problem, you guys. Um, and I mean, and I get it. Like you got to eat, you got, you got to bring in money somehow. Like I get it. But, but more importantly, well, not more importantly, but equally as important, there's kids in school right now that feel stupid because they're frustrated, they're pressured, they're compared to other kids, they don't do well on tests, they don't do well on, in class, period. Um, and they think that their whole worth and their whole identity is caught up in grades and some letter that comes home on their report card, A, B, C, D, whatever, it doesn't matter, it starts to be their identity. Um, and, and maybe school is hard for them or they think something is wrong with them. Um, hey, Susie, um, because everybody else has it, what looks like easy, right? You got to learn, right? You got to eat, right? Like we just got to do these things. So we shove ourselves into these little boxes um, that aren't really made for us. I mean, they're there and by law we have to go to school, right? Whatever. But, but often these kids that struggle um, are also the kids that have gifts. Jean says the way we educate in this country is not conducive to learning. It's not, it's really not. Um, and I'd love to change that. You know, the school board is like a, is like a, a whole thing. And, um, I know a lot of teachers that will totally stand behind me on this. Um, but, but that's another battle for another day. Um, what, what I've noticed is that these kids have gifts in other areas, Right. If, if you're not good at math and science, you might be really good at sports or art or music or, um, exactly Jean, it's made for people who don't think. And that's what it was designed to do. Whenever they came up with school, somebody commented on something else I posted a while ago that it was made to create people that worked in factories. And that made sense at the time. Okay. And I'm not here to talk about the school system. Like that's a whole soapbox that I don't really want to get into because <laughs> everybody's got opinions. And, um, and that's not really the topic for today, but I totally agree. Um, the, the areas of creativity that get shoved under the rug and they get defunded, um, they, they get cut short. Um, I remember, um, my brother-in-law, he probably won't mind if I share this story. He was an art teacher and he came to Nashville to be an art teacher and he was super excited. And we were like, oh my gosh, yay. Like he got a job right away. 
And I remember him telling us he had no supplies, no support from the school. And I know teachers have to buy a lot of their own stuff, but like, it was ridiculous. Like he couldn't even teach class. And like that job didn't last very long because it was so like, it was so difficult. So like the teachers aren't even getting supported in the arts. Um, but you know, if this is you, okay. My point is, you know, if this is you, if you're good at something that, that isn't in like a check the box, what am I good at? Um, and you know, if your kid is some, is good at something like this, like art or drawing or painting or music or singing or instruments or dancing or theater or writing or designing or even woodworking or photography or like, I'm even going to throw sports and fitness in there because that's out of the box. Like, you know, who's going to go be an aerobics instructor for life? Like, you know, like it's just, there's a stigma, there's a stigma around all of it. Um, so grownups now, um, it's almost like they don't want kids to develop these skills they're good at. I agree. I agree. That's what we're doing here. <laughs> Gene, you're already on the team. Um, so, so we as grownups used to be these kids, right? We're like, we had to fit in this box of education, this one size fits all approach that we know doesn't work. And if you're no good at school, then how are you going to get a job and good luck to you in life? Because that's all that we're here to prepare you for. Right. Um, and in order to get a job, you got to go to college and you probably have to get a degree in something boring, like finance, boring to me. Sorry, finance people. If you love finance, great. Or be a doctor or whatever, just so you can make money. Like this is like survival, right? These, these marketable skills that we got to have in order to just like stand on our own two feet. So maybe you did that and maybe college was really hard for you. Like you're still struggling and now you're an adult and you still feel stupid and that feeds into your depression and you already don't like your job and like you're not good at anything. Okay. Um, and, and maybe you kind of like this job a little bit, but given that winning lottery ticket, like you would have been out of there yesterday. So what's happened is we all, we have all like sold out into these professions for survival. We had a really good reason. I'm not dogging that, but it's totally unfulfilling and you would give anything, anything to go back in time to change that. My husband and I have had this conversation. I don't know how many times if I could go back in time, I would totally have chose something different because fill in the blank, right? Either you're not making enough or you don't like your work or you're bored or your boss sucks or whatever, right? Okay. But you didn't know any better and there wasn't another option. And so here you are, right? And, and you're just trying to do your best. We've been told that we can't use our creative skills the way that we would really want because why it's not useful in the real world. Um, you're not going to make any money. What are you going to do with that? How, how are you going to eat? Right? Like these questions from well-meaning parents come up and I would say the same to my kid. What, what are we going to do with that? Okay. Like I want to help you survive. So we stuff down our talents. We stuff down our gifts. We put them away because we're taught, well, that's useless. Um, I don't know why I'm good at that. Good for me. And, and uh, we believe if we stop that we will starve if we chase them. Um, and mostly the message today is the same. Find something safe, get a degree in something secure. It doesn't really matter if you like it. Jean says things change too. I hate that they want kids to know their whole life path at 12 to 17 years of age. Yeah. I remember having like, you choose college as like a sophomore, um, in, in high school or something. Like who knows what they want to do? They don't. Um, so it's already happening with our kids. The pattern is starting to repeat itself and not to be like doomsday about this because I don't believe that, but, but as good parents, like we don't want our kids to repeat our mistakes. Right. And if you're a parent with a creative child, then you can already see things that they don't want to do and how it's like crushing their little souls and it hurts you. I know that because it hurts me. Um, and yeah, they got to go to school and they'll get through it and like, it'll be fine. But like, what if there was another place? What if there was somewhere else that they could thrive, that you could thrive, um, where, where they could be totally themselves, they could be successful at it. And through that experience, not only would it minimize and offset the struggles that they're experiencing at school, but, but they could actually leverage it to have a life that supports them and that they love, right? Um, like this is what I have in my head and this is what I want to create this kind of place. You know, I, I had the hardest time figuring out my own major in school, not because 
like I was good at everything or that I wasn't good at anything, but because I just didn't care. I was top 10% of my class. I was a straight A student. Like I knew how to make the grades. I didn't care. And I'm sure my parents think like my brain is waste, but, but like with all those smarts, like it doesn't matter if you're good at it or not. If you don't freaking care about it, then you're not going to live a a fulfilling life, right? So I knew I was going to hate anything with numbers or engineering or whatever, right? And so I had really a hard time picking like, okay, what am I going to like do with my life? I'm 17. I have to like decide, right? (laughs) That's really a lot of pressure for a teenager to like make a giant decision. Um, And some people did and great for them, but for everybody else, I am standing here as the example to tell you that there is more. There is more out there for you. Um, And and those are the people that I'm talking to, the people that really wanted to go major in writing or the liberal arts or um, way too much pressure. I totally agree. And and, um, I wanted to major in like drawing, you know, and it was like, even now I'm like, oh, geez, what what would I have done with drawing? The internet did not exist the way that it does now. Um, but, but you know, that, that scares people. Cause how are you going to live on that? So, so for our kids, where do they go to shine if the schools aren't providing it? And I mean, we, you know, they, they've got you at home. Where do they go to shine? Where do they go to thrive? Where do they go to develop the skills that they really want to have and that you want them to have, of course, and, and find a way to leverage that in order to have the life that they're really dreaming of. They don't even know they're dreaming of it yet, but in 20 years they will be when their job sucks, right? So there's very little out there in society that I've seen. There's a few things um, but that, that's encouraging this and showing you how to make money with it. No one else is doing it that I've found yet, and so I'm going to do it. All right, so that's what I'm doing um, because I believe your gifts are yours for a reason and that they were given to you for a purpose and that they're meant to be used and they're meant to be shared and they're meant to be your greatest joy, which means chase your dreams. Debbie says family, love, support are key. Yes. Keep telling them they shine. They do. They need, they need a place to, um, for that to grow and not, it did not just be an idea in their head, but a way for them to use it and share it. And I, I just believe the next generation deserves more. So I'm starting a movement. Don't totally know what this is about yet. I mean, like, this is what it's about, but I don't have a name. I don't have anything yet. Um, but but I want to help the kids harness their potential now, like, before they get jaded and out in the world and into a college degree that is just like, eh, I don't really care, right? Um, and, and get caught up in all the shoulds, all the shoulds, all the things that they should do in their lives, all the things that they have to do in order to do this. Like, I want my kids to be able to go out there and create whatever life that they want for themselves. Like no limits, no restrictions, whatever they dream, like they can go out and create it. I truly believe that that's possible. I've done it for myself. Um, I wish I could have started it when I was 10, right? So who's this for? Um, Kids who prefer the creative stuff. We talked about all that. You know, if this is your kid, all right, music, dance, theater, art, any of it, I don't care. This is who it's for. Um, The kids that have a hard time in school because their gifts are elsewhere outside of math and science. There's more to life than math and science. (laughs) Um, Modern school does not fit them. Modern school doesn't fit a lot of people. Um, I believe that there's nothing wrong with your child. I believe we live in a broken system. Um, Or kids like me that are all the way in, they can ace it, but they just don't fucking care. I don't care. I don't care about math. I can do math with my eyes closed. I don't care. And that means something, okay? Listen to your kids. Doesn't mean they don't have to do it. Um, but, but, and also adults, grownups, adults that have either gone down this path and been like, oh my God, yes, I want to, to figure this out, um, something more exciting for myself, or you're the parent of these kids, all right? So this is more for you because I don't think that many kids are on Common Core is making Gene crazy. <laughs> I only have a first grader. I have not experienced that, but I'm dreading it a little bit. Um, so, uh, like I said, adults can gain from this too, but really my focus is on like the next generation. Okay. So to teach kids how to harness their gifts now, 
um, to follow the things that they love to do and teach them also how to leverage it to make money. I mean, we can go draw all day, but like if we can't leverage it, then it's not going to really help us in life. And also leveraging is sharing and getting it out in the world and you're raising humanity and raising consciousness and all these amazing, wonderful things that you're actually meant to do. Like you can actually serve your purpose. Jean says, I won't have to. Oh, goody. Okay. Um, so results of teaching your kids how to do this via me. Hopefully I agree. Um, so fantasy world, if your kids actually got to do this, right? They got to, to, to do what they love, do what they're great at, leverage it for a career and they're, they're off, right? Like they're, they're loving what they do. Um, they don't struggle with their skill set because these are natural talents. They're already good at it. Work becomes fun. Can you imagine work becomes fun? Um, this directly translates to them making more money or you making more money or whatever it is. Um, but, but when you can leverage your gifts to share with the world, you build a life you love and you're happier. And by proxy, you share happiness and you just, just attract more great stuff. Like it can't not happen. Okay. So what does this look like? I'm going to wrap this up. Um, for now, I think this is going to be a YouTube channel. I think it is. I don't know what totally what it looks like yet, but I think this is probably going to be a YouTube channel. Um, I'm also going to, I created a quick Facebook group so people could like jump into something um, and not have to hang out on my page if they don't want to, but, but just for the conversation, just to have more information. Um, and I'll post that link below here, helping them to realize the inner motivation because they love it. Yes. Yes. That what Jean just said. Um, so like I said, this is just starting. This is only going to grow. That's what I'm starting with YouTube and a Facebook group. We'll see what happens. Um, I can only teach the art side of things. Y'all don't want me to sing. Like I'm not going to do the music. Um, so we're going to get people to, to support like the theater channels and the music channels and the, the, we'll get some dance people in here too. And, um, and really just have this like multifaceted resource for kids and parents alike to access. And you can use it from your house. Um, thank you, Jean. Positive things happen to positive thinking people, a place to hear positive ways to move forward and dream together. Yes, yes, absolutely. I mean, we, who doesn't need more positivity in the world? Um, so if you're interested, if you have a kid like this, if you are a kid like this, if you're an adult kid and you're like, oh my God, like, this is what I want to do. I want to go play. Who doesn't want to do that? Um, if you haven't commented below, comment below let me know you're interested. Um, I'll post the group link and you're more than welcome to join. Um, it's really just a name right now. I didn't even put anything in there yet. Uh, I was just really excited to, to share this with you guys. Um, cause, cause I'm pumped about it and I want change for my kids and, and I've experienced it in my own life, so I can't help it. Um, if somebody else needs to hear this, please share this. Like this isn't a marketing thing. Like this is a nonprofit that I'm starting. Um, and, and so really my goal is just to get the word out to help as many people as possible. Um, and to, to become a resource for people that want this, you know, so they can access these videos, they can access the group. Um, and, um, and, and just, and just spread the light, share the light. So I think that's it. Thank you guys for watching whoever stayed on for the longest. I don't even know how long this is. But thank you guys for watching. Thank you for tuning in. If you have any questions, let me know. Type in the comments. Um, and then watch for more updates because I'll probably talk about this again because I'm really, really pumped. It's going to be awesome. I'm super excited. So people are realizing more and more they don't need the system. I think that's kind of cool. All the revolutions at once, right? <laughs> it's good stuff. All right. You guys have a great day. Thank you for watching. This went a little longer than I thought, but I appreciate you guys being here. And... Um, yeah, look for the link, look for more updates, and I'll talk to you guys soon.